everyone. I'm Dr. Don, and this is my intern, Dr. Dave Silvosa. Okay. So, Dave Silvosa, it's his first day of internship, and surprise, surprise, <laughs> we found out that his right eye has keratoconus. Okay. So, we took a topography image of his right eye, and this is the topography image of a patient with keratoconus. Yung left eye niya, wala pa, pero papunta na, no? As you can see, there's a focal area here. So, usually, this is the thinnest and the highest point, no? Ito yung full-blown keratoconus. <laughs> So, it's your mannerism to rub yeah. your eye. Okay. So, si keratoconus, normally, it's genetic. Okay. It can be passed on. Some of my patients, they have it in their aunties, they have it in their nieces and nephews. It runs in the family. But I also have keratoconus patients na walang relative, none at all, who has keratoconus. Pero, they frequently rub their eyes. No? So, if you frequently rub your eye, you can induce keratoconus. Okay. So what are we going to do? We're going mm. to fit a scleral lens Scleralense. for Dave. No, the scleral lens will help improve his vision. At the same time, it's a special contact lens. Now he won't need glasses anymore, and he can't use other contact lenses like soft contact lens because it's going to make it worse. The soft contact lens will make his cornea thinner and irritate his cornea. So the scleral lens will. Reduce irritation, keep your cornea healthy, and give you good vision. Okay, so that's how we will manage. Okay. okay. Scleral contact lenses cover the white part of the eye and arch over the cornea. A protective layer of saline lies between the eye and contact lens. These lenses are a good alternative to surgery for many patients with keratoconus. So hi everyone, we're going to fit our patient and my intern, Dr. Dave, scleral lenses. But before we do anything, we need to keep our hands very clean. So wash muna tayo ng hands, okay? So hi everyone, this is the scleral lens that we're going to fit on Dr. Dave. And before we're going to fit it on him, we need to clean the lenses first. What we're going to use is the Medicare Plus. We can't use other solutions for cleaning this lens because it's an RGP lens. So most solutions that you can buy over the counter or in other 
Clinics are for soft contact lenses, so they are watery, but this one is more viscous or malapot. No, this is really intended for the GP lens. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to pour a few drops here, rub it 30 times, and then on the other side also, okay, and then rinse it, no? and then. Put it on top of the suction. Like that. Okay. And we're going to pour a few drops right here. Okay. So you need, unlike other solutions or un, other lenses, you have to insert your sclera lens with the bowl being filled with solution. Now, it looks like a bowl that was puro solution. So, other contact lenses, when you fit it, you have to hold the mirror right in front of you. But, in this case, since we're going to fit a sclera lens, we're going to hold the mirror right here, and the patient has to bend his head like that. Okay? And then, sige, can you pull your ano, lower lid? Okay, very good. Close your eyes. Okay. Just open your eyes when you're ready. Okay, na? How does it feel? Parang wala lang. I told you. It's a GP lens, but it's very, very comfortable. That's why we use it for keratoconus patients. Okay? So, ito, it's not super clear because this is not your grade yet. We're just fitting the curve kung appropriate ba yung curve sa yo. So, now that we've already inserted it, we're going to check in the slip lab using the fluorescein to assess the fit. Okay? <music> But we're just going to check if meron pang better pa. Okay, sit down this. Now we're going to remove it so that we can insert another lens and check another fit. Okay, so kanina we had to ask the patient to bend his head, uh, his head forward so that we can insert it. Now we can just easily remove it. Uh, he just needs to look at the mirror, ask him to open his eyes. Okay, look at the mirror, open your eyes, and then we're just going to use the suction to remove it. Okay, so here it is.
it's not good. So we got a good taste the first time. Mm -hmm. Expert level. <laughs> okay, let's remove na. One fit lang first time. We got it na. Yes, ha? When you assess clarinets, first you check the base curve that you're going to use. Once you're able to find the best base curve for the patient, that's when you proceed to checking the vision. <laughs> Yeah. 